Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com in the second week of October 2021. Actor Granville Adams died October 10, 2021, of cancer at the age of 58. He was best known for playing inmate Zahir Arif on the HBO prison drama Oz. Adams is also being remembered for his recurring role as Officer Jeff Westby on Homicide Life on the Street. Gospel singer Sean McLemore died October 9, 2021, after an illness at the age of 54. He led the gospel group New Image and is known for music including their 1997 hit album Wait On Him. McLemore is also being remembered for his acting career, including an appearance in the 1988 movie Colors. U.S. Army General Raymond T. Odierno died October 8, 2021, of cancer at the age of 67. He was the Chief of Staff of the U.S. Army, the highest-ranking officer in the Army, from 2011 to 2015. Odierno is also being remembered as an important figure in the Iraq War, who oversaw the 2007 troop surge. Musician Patty Maloney died October 11, 2021, at the age of 83. He was a co-founder and the leader of The Chieftains, the Grammy-winning group that brought traditional Irish music to a worldwide audience. Maloney is being remembered as an ambassador of Irish music and a national treasure in his homeland. Musician Dion Estes died October 11, 2021, at the age of 65. He was the bass player for Wham! and George Michael, playing on hits including Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go and Faith. Estes is also being remembered for his top five solo hit from 1989, Heaven Help Me, and for playing in the R&B group Brainstorm. Animator Ruthie Thompson died October 10, 2021, at the Motion Picture and Television Fund in Woodland Hills, California. She died in her sleep at the age of 111. She was a pioneer at Disney, where she worked on the groundbreaking animated feature film Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Thompson is being remembered as a Disney legend who helped create many iconic films, including Pinocchio, Dumbo, and Mary Poppins. Toy inventor Charles Cummings died September 30th, 2021, peacefully at the age of 91. He worked for Kenner, where he invented the Easy Bake Mini Wave Oven, an update to a childhood classic, and the Baby Alive doll, which ate pretend food and turned it into waste. One mourner on Legacy.com remembered him. What a wonderful part of my childhood. Such an innovative and remarkable person whose inventions made so many children happy. Cummings was a U.S. Air Force veteran who served during the Korean War. Drummer Dottie Dajian died September 17, 2021, at a hospice center in Pacific Grove, California. She died of a stroke at the age of 91. She was a jazz drummer in an era when few women played the instrument. She played with greats, including Benny Goodman and Marion McPartland. Dajian is being remembered as a musical pioneer who continued playing regularly until the last year of her life. Anti-war activist Sister Megan Rice died October 10, 2021, at the Society of the Holy Child Jesus in Rosemont, Pennsylvania. She died of congestive heart failure at the age of 91. She was a Catholic nun who protested nuclear proliferation. 
In a high-profile case, she was arrested and imprisoned for vandalizing a nuclear facility when she was 82 years old. Her sentence was later overturned. Rice is being remembered as a teacher, as well as an activist who was inspirational to many. Business leader Brian Goldner died October 12, 2021, at the age of 58. He was the longtime CEO of Hasbro, one of the largest toy and game companies in the world. Goldner is also being remembered as a producer of movies based on Hasbro's brands, including the Transformers and G.I. Joe series. Comedian and actor Ricarlo Flanagan died October 9, 2021, after suffering with COVID-19 at the age of 41. He competed on Last Comic Standing and had recurring roles on the TV shows Shameless and Walk the Plank. Flanagan is also being remembered for his musical career, releasing several hip-hop albums under the name Father Flanagan. Baseball player Ray Fossey died October 13, 2021, of cancer at the age of 74. He was a catcher for major league teams including the Cleveland Indians and the Oakland A's, playing in two All-Star games and winning two World Series. Fossey is also being remembered as a longtime color commentator for the A's. Author Gary Paulson died suddenly October 13, 2021, at the age of 82. He wrote young adult books telling tales of wilderness survival, including his 1986 classic, Hatchet. Paulson is being remembered for inspiring countless reluctant young readers to love books. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of former Virginia Senator Robert L. Calhoun. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered as a mark of respect for the firefighters of Wisconsin who have given their lives in the line of duty. Flags in Wisconsin have also been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Navy Seaman 2nd Class Arthur R. Thins, who lost his life during the attack on Pearl Harbor. His remains were recently accounted for and will be laid to rest with military honors. Flags in Missouri have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Navy Sailor George Gooch, who was killed in the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. His remains were recently identified and will be laid to rest with military honors. Flags in Alaska have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Representative Anthony Vasca and former State Legislator Bill Hudson. Flags in Michigan have been lowered to honor the memory of State Representative Andrea Schroeder. Flags in Michigan have also been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Sergeant William E. Cavender, who was missing in action during the Korean War. His remains were recently recovered and returned home. Flags in North Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army First Lieutenant James Earl Wright and all those who have fought for our country overseas and never returned home. First Lieutenant Wright was killed in action during World War II, and his remains were recently recovered. Flags in Indiana have been lowered to honor the memory of Elwood firefighter Mark B. Gillum. Flags in Arizona have been lowered to honor the memory of Maricopa County Sheriff's Deputy Juan M. Ruiz, who was attacked by a felony suspect and died of his injuries, and La Paz County Sergeant Michael Rudd, who was hit by a vehicle after a pursuit. Flags in Oklahoma have been lowered to honor the memory of former state lawmaker Leonard Earl Sullivan. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. 
Fifteen years ago this week, country musician Freddie Fender died of lung cancer at the age of 69. Thirty years ago this week, comedian and actor Red Fox died of a heart attack at the age of 68. Actor Luke Perry was born 55 years ago this week. He died of a stroke in 2019 at the age of 52. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.